Welcome back, everybody. I have a, a new ROM to show you. This is Cataclysm ROM for the Nexus 6. Uh, yes, I said right, the Nexus 6. This is not uh, for the Nexus 5. Uh, it was brought over to the Nexus 6. Um, and there is only one build of it. Uh, but they are working on another build, and that build is Marshmallow. Uh, they thought they'd give us this build as a teaser. Um, and when they have Marshmallow up and running, they will release it. And I will let you know how it is. Um, this is a stock ROM, guys. Um, if you like running stock ROMs, this is the ROM for you. It is uh, a highly optimized stock ROM, but nonetheless, uh, it's very, very stock. Um, as you can see, um, the apps on here, I have about four or five uh, apps that I downloaded for myself. Uh, you know, quickly off the top of my head, uh, Zedge Team Battery. Um, uh, Solid Explorer, uh, I did download uh, Multi-ROM and Layers Manager, my Kernel uh, Auditor, um, let me look here, AZ Screen Recorder so I could make this video, and of course I always install AdFree as a side load. Um, but look at the Google Apps that comes with this. You do not have to flash uh, any... Uh, G apps. Uh, the download has everything included. The uh, kernel is uh, not, um, it does not force uh, encryption. So uh, if you are not encrypted, you do not have to worry about it. You download the ROM, flash it, boot the system, good to go. Uh, of course, I'm running multi ROM, so there are a few more steps involved, and I am running House Core Kernel uh, because of multi ROM. Um, so I ran into an issue with this ROM, and only one issue. That issue could very well be because of the kernel I am running. Uh, because I am running an aftermarket kernel, and because I am running on multi-ROM, I can't blame the ROM for it. Uh, that issue is with the layers manager, uh, or running layers themes. But I'll get to that later. For right now, let's go ahead. Uh, this is Android version 5.1.1. Build number uh, LMY48M. Uh, I am running Hellscore Kernel uh, 40HC B10 T4 uh, with the Mako hot plug. Um, developer options are pretty much their basic, uh, just like uh, all the other Lollipop ROMs. And to be honest with you guys, uh, all the settings in here are they're, they're stock settings. Um, if you know what the stock settings look like uh, before you loaded a ROM, uh, you're basically, there. there is nothing or no surprises here for you. Um, I'm trying to even think if there's anything off the top of my head that's different in the standard settings, and I don't think so. But I'll go through a couple of them real quick for you. Um, uh, sound and notifications... And display. Now, where we, where we get into the difference is under Cataclysm settings. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's going to be where you're going to find uh, all your, um, your, your good settings that, that you can change things with. And when I say that, I mean uh, settings that are going to change the way... Uh, your phone acts more than the way it looks. Uh, this ROM was not designed to be a, um, a uh, I can't think of what I, the, the word I'm looking for here. Um, it's not a an eye-popping, highly customizable ROM like that. Uh, what this ROM is, at least in my opinion, is a, a work, working man's ROM. Uh, it, it's got the customizations that it has in it are they're they're good solid customizations. I like the way it's set up. Some of the ways, some of the things that they use in here, like I'm going to show you under quick toggles. Normally, when you go to choose your quick toggles, uh, you have to go back and forth, add and then pick, add and pick. When you choose on this one, you just put a check mark next to the one you want, and it adds it to your drop down. 
Now, with that being said, here's where I ran into the problem with themes uh, or with theming this. Um, w before I added anything in here or added any extra check marks other than what was checked off from stock or from my first flash, uh, all the themes that I loaded worked and worked great. No problems, no lag, no reboots, nothing. Now, what happened was when I went to do the video, and this is actually right now, this is the eighth time that I've tried to make this video. When I would either hit rearrange, I would get it would just shut off. Um, or if I would go to hit uh, to pick an extra tile to put in my drop down, I would get a system UI crash, and that was it. Uh, I'd have to uh, I'd have to boot into my uh, um, into my recovery system and basically get rid of that layer and and unless you know what you're doing uh, you you actually have to you have to mount system uh, then you have to uh, uh, look under SD card uh, and then uh, for me it's multi ROM uh, I have to I have to go to multi ROM then I have to go to ROM then I have to choose cataclysm then I have to go up to uh, it, it's a long drawn out process. Um, and then you delete that uh, that theme, or it's it, you delete the overlay uh, folder, and then you can boot back into it, and everything works fine. So I decided I was just going to do this video without a theme on it, and, and I'm going to give you guys this warning: if you uh, want to run a, a layers theme on here, um, and you are set up a multi ROM, and you are running a different kernel than the kernel that it comes with, um, I would leave the drop down tiles the way they are that's all i'm saying uh make an android backup and try it for yourself now uh how to move the tiles around is just like your nav bars you would basically grab one and move it and then that would change it on your drop down i'm going to try to get through this quickly um under the quick pull down these are your settings for that uh, of course, you can change your scale settings for your uh, for your tiles. You can have them smaller or larger. See how they got smaller now? And if I move that back up, and they got larger, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you can actually increase your columns by going four or five or six. I like it on three. Uh, you can have your haptic feedback. Uh, you, you can do a lot of things with that. And uh, that's what really makes this ROM cool. I, I really like that. Uh, I would like to see these features incorporated in with some other ROMs. That would kick butt. Uh, let's see here. Uh, then you have your lock screen options. I don't, I don't understand to use black and white icons. I, I don't get that. I, I, checked, I, I checked that off, and then I went into my lock screen. I didn't notice a difference. Maybe you guys do. You might have seen it before. Um, I don't know, but here's all the options under your lock screen options. Uh, in call blocker, those are your options for that. Then you have soft key fade mod. Not sure what that is. Uh, I think if you apply it uh, after a certain amount of time, your uh, soft keys, if you don't use them, they fade away. I'm guessing. That that would be my guess. Uh, that Yep, there they went. Uh, and then you have your uh, smart timeout. Uh, animation speed. This is where basically uh, this setting is in your... Um, developer options. Um, uh, since my phone uh, has three gigs of RAM, um, has a very good processor. Uh, it's a uh, you know basically a brand new phone. Um, I'm not going to turn them off. I want all the animations that Lollipop has to offer. I want to see them. Uh, then we have your AMPM uh, clock style. You can change that. Do big, small, or none. Uh, here's here are your battery styles and you have your uh, status bar options 
Again, they're all, you know, check them on or check them off. It's pretty cool. I just, I like the way they, they do it. Nav bar options. And they've got a lot of things on here that, you know, I, I've never even seen before. Swipe to sleep. Um, menu on both sides. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, the resize does work, too. I'll let you guys see that. If you uh, notice how big my nav bars are right now, uh, if I take them up, it gets huge. Uh, although I don't like that. I'm going to move it back down to there. To there. But there's a lot of things you can do with your nav bar. That's, that's really cool. Uh, you have your battery saving options. NFC polling mode. Those are your options there. Your clear all recents button. LED control. They do work. I have my LED running right now because I'm charging my battery. Uh, it is working and the color is right. Notification control. And you have your per app settings and your app ops. I'm not going to open them up. That's, you know, settings for uh, allowing permissions and stuff like that. And then we have our miscellaneous tweaks or various tweaks. And there's quite a few of them in here. Ah, uh, reboot entry in power menu. Yes, we, yeah, I have that checked. I definitely, uh, if you don't do that, you're not going to have a reboot option in your power menu. Uh, let's see. Yes, and I disabled my volume beep. <laughs> Man, that's annoying. Uh, vibrate on remote call pickup hang up. That's a new one. Oh, and the, uh, the sound that it makes when you uh, use uh, NFC, uh, you can disable that if you want and just have it vibrate. It is pretty loud and obnoxious if you think about it. Uh, I do have my phone set to upside down rotation. Uh, I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, it works. It's a little weird, but it does work. Um, battery low warning. I don't know why I have that checked. Oh, I, I have it disabled. Sorry. Uh, let's see. And that will do that. That'll be it for that. And then the other settings you have are your backup cataclysm, cataclysm settings. You can actually back up all your settings that you just did here. Um, and then say you, uh, um, if, if you update and uh, you do an update like I do, I do a clean flash. Um, you can restore your settings by hitting the Restore Cataclysm Settings. And last but not least is About Cataclysm. And there you have uh, all your um, links that you can con contact a developer, go to the official thread site, um, you know, uh, donate. My God, if you like this app, you should be, or if you like this ROM, you should donate. Um, I donate to the uh, developers of the ROMs that I use. Uh, and I run as my daily drivers. I, I, that's, I just think it helps. Uh, it gives the, uh, the developers a reason to keep developing. I need a drink here real quick. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I can't think of anything else to go over with you on this. Uh, the Google Now does work very well. I'm not going to say that word. To get it to fire up for you, but uh, it does work. Um, and when I themed it, uh, the theming was working throughout. I may I may do a quick video, a follow up for this, and show this uh, themed um, with one of my buddies' themes. Uh, but uh, if not, uh, I will see you on the next one. And uh, thank you for watching.